and action research on metacognitive reading strategies instruction to improve reading comprehension. This article is written by two authors. First author Ayan Yuan Kang. Second author is Lena Abdul Aziz. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study contributes to the existing literature on metacognitive reading strategies. Results imply that the instruction of metacognitive reading strategies has its merit and could have a place in the English language classroom, as it facilitates students' reading comprehension. One of the most important skills that students need to master is reading, yet the dismal results of Malaysian students on international reading assessments suggest that they still lack the necessary skills for reading. An action research was conducted to investigate the effects of instruction in metacognitive reading strategies to aid students' reading comprehension. Chosen based on convenience sampling, 25 participants in this study were 13-year-olds from a secondary school in Kuala Lumpur. The Metacognitive Awareness of Reading Strategies, revised, Marcy R was the main instrument used to identify the needs of the students and to keep track of their progress. The mean for the overall items and three subscales was calculated to compare the results before and after the interventions. Like previous studies carried out on reading strategies instruction, there was an increase in participants' awareness of metacognitive reading strategies following the training. While the results were limited to this particular school and could not be generalized to all secondary schools in Kuala Lumpur, English language teachers in secondary schools could consider integrating metacognitive reading instruction into their reading classrooms. Future studies could investigate the metacognitive reading strategies that good and poor readers use. Researchers could also look into developing a handbook of materials for training in such strategies. Thanks for watching this video of International Journal of English Language and Literature Studies Volume 9 Issue Number 2.